Okay. Happy 2022, everybody. I'm going to share something really scary to me, which are my goals for this year. I'm trying something new, guys. Um, one of my goals this year is to post a lot of raw content. I've been a YouTuber since uh, like I was 10 years old, and I used to post a lot of shit posting and just things on my mind. And as I grew up, I just thought about trends, views, and basically got to a point where last year I just stopped uploading and I've uploaded only brand deals and I just did not feel good about my content. Like my views were decreasing, like I was losing myself. And I really want to make an effort this year as a creator to just post whatever is on my mind. It's not necessarily about becoming the next big YouTuber, but just going back to my authentic self. On the topic of being authentic, um, I'm actually fighting a cold. I'm bundled up in this Snuggie, which is not mine, it's my roommate's, and um, sipping some bubbly stuff that hopefully doesn't upset my tummy. Um, I haven't been able to work at all last week and the week before because I was fighting for my life. It wasn't COVID, I want to add that, because um, I got a PCR test and it was negative, but I went to urgent care and it wasn't the flu, it was just some something, like it could be COVID, but it, it was some type of virus. Anyways, I've been fighting that for the past week and a half. I'm feeling a lot better. And, you know, I think because I'm feeling better, it, it scares me that I have to face my goals and start to, you know, go after the things I set my mind to. I made this uh, goal board for last year. And surprisingly, I hit every single one um, for the most part. <laughs> I did not read a book every month, but we're going to be working on it this year. And it's kind of crazy because I feel like even though I've accomplished goals and, for example, I set my mind to go on a trip with family and friends. And last year I went to like 20 different um, international trips, literally like separately um, for work or to meet a team member. And like sometimes even if you are achieving, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you can get, get scared. And I just wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of us, even if we have you know, it doesn't make sense why we're scared. It's okay to be scared of placing goals because that means you're setting things that are outside your comfort zone, comfort zone, and that equals growth. So it's actually, you know, for me making content that's raw and authentic is scary, but I know that's showing of progress. Like I'm, I'm going to something new. So I wanted to share that first goal because I wanted to first say that I'm experimenting with new types of content. I'm uploading more and I want to share the journey with you guys. I noticed that sometimes when I make YouTube videos, I can be talking for 25 minutes, but only five minutes gets uploaded. So I'm actually gonna be uploading the audio of all my YouTube videos to a podcast. And my podcast is going through a rebrand. We're calling it, I'm not an expert. So these are the thoughts I have about feeling like I'm not an expert. And it's basically the longer version of my YouTube video. So I hope you guys like this and yeah, I'm trying this for three months. We'll see how it goes. Please, please, please support me. Um, like, I'm begging for a like and comment because um, it gives me, you know, honest feedback to know what to keep and what to continue. So I'd really appreciate it if you let me know your thoughts of this video at the end, if you'd like. All right. So with that being said, now that I shared my content goal, I want to share some other professional goals and then I'll, I'll go into some personal stuff. So my second professional goal, I would say is I really want to grow my company, but in a very intentional way. I have no plans to make a certain amount of money this year, which is, you know, this is actually the second year where I haven't made financial, like, goals. Like, I have goals professionally, but not, like, numerical and, like, financial. Like, I want to make a million dollars. And I think the reason why is because when I did that in 2019, I got really burnt out tracing the number and not really the process and I also realized that like you don't really need a lot of money as a human like personally for me I mean I live in California so my base salary needs to be 80k a year it doesn't need to be but like my lifestyle needs you know around that amount of um buffer just because I like to invest in crypto I like to go traveling so that's that's personally for me what I'd like to achieve but beyond it like I don't need to be you know, a millionaire, like my projects can do well, but I don't need to have millions of dollars. And I think it really scared me to not have a numerical goal because you're kind of shooting in the dark. And it's also like, are you just being easy on yourself? 
But last year I made an intentional goal of just doing impactful work. Like just a, a general, like I'm going to do impactful work. And I think that I achieved it. Like I worked on a project where we were promoting green sustainable brands for holiday shopping with Lonely Whale, which you guys can check out here. I also just worked on, you know, campaigns with brands that I really enjoyed that were pretty fucking huge. Like I worked with Red Bull on talking about social entrepreneurship and, you know, I did all of this without having a numerical goal. And could I have made more money by setting a goal? Maybe, but I was achieving what I wanted to do, which is impactful work. So I'm applying that to this year. Like, I just want to do more impactful work. And I don't really know what that means. Um, you know, my team at X8 Media, which is my media agency, you know, we work with brands and creators to deliver all over. <laughs> we work with brands and creators to deliver campaigns. You know, I would say that's like my day job. Like, it's what I'm good at. It's what I do. And, um, you know, we, we do have actual like steps we take, like we need to do outreach to a hundred brands this month and, and stuff like that. But for the most part, like I keep it really broad where I'm just like, let's just do the best we can. And I never ran my company that way till like two years ago. Some people don't do that. And I know like some agencies are like KPI, KPI, but like my goal with X8 media, I don't want to be running a multi-billion dollar agency like Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, my goal is just to do good work with brands and then spend the rest of my time working on, you know, sustainable projects, climate change and stuff for fun. So which leads me to my next project, NF Tree House. So you guys know I started this new company, NF Tree House, where we plant trees with creators. They are minted as NFTs. And we've been in talking stages for the past like six months, gathering the team, getting funding. And in the next year, like the next three months, we're actually launching very soon and planting trees. So that is really scary to me to like do impactful work at X8 while doing, you know, planting a thousand. I, I want to plant thousands of trees this year um, with creators. So, you know, if you are a creator that wants to plant trees in L.A., let me know. You can hit me up on the DMs on Instagram, Jader Mwangza. But um, if you're someone who, you know, who, who is environmentally cautious or just, you know, cares about planting trees, you know, we're trying to partner with people, with audiences to do good. Um, and you also earn revenue through doing good. So we're trying to launch in the next two months. And we're also speaking at South by Southwest and presenting there. So a lot of good things. I'm just scared that things don't go well. And um, for whatever reason, like no one buys a tree or something. But I realize like I can't go too deep into like thinking the what ifs because it's a, extremely unproductive, B, not the most likely outcome, and C, you know, my therapist told me this, but I think we tend to catastrophize, catastrophize, catastrophize. I think we tend to imagine the worst case scenario. In reality, there's like a middle version of it. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. And like, I think not that you need to be realistic and like plan for the middle, but like most often not, you're not going to die your parents aren't going to leave you if you start a YouTube channel. Like, it's most likely going to be a little bit more moderate. And if you can focus on that and handle that, then you can do anything. So, you know, I'm just thinking, like, the worst case scenario. Not even worst case, but, like, most likely, you know, we sell out, you know, a majority of our trees. We have a little bit left and we just do an extra marketing push. And, you know, that's our first run and we keep getting better. So that is with NF Treehouse. We're launching in um, next month. We're trying to get creators that are going to commit to planting trees. And then we'll keep you guys updated from there. Quick podcast break. And on YouTube, if you're listening, um, here's a little quick promotion. I write a newsletter every week. I know. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but if you're a creator and you're trying to see the newest trends, know what's up with growing your business, I write a newsletter about the creator economy every week with my co-writer, Abby. It's called The Creative Block and it's free. I don't ever promote it, so please don't click off this little ad because I think it's so flawless. It's so great. We had a, like a crypto themed newsletter this week about like why gorgeous gorgeous girls invest in crypto this year so they're really funny like it's not trying to be boring please check it out because it's free <laughs> and I just really like my newsletter so podcast fam I will link it in the description same with YouTube I will link it and um check it out let me know your thoughts also, if you do decide to check out the podcast, please leave a five-star review on wherever you're listening to, on Spotify, on Apple Music. It would mean a lot to me, and it helps with the show progress and stuff, so please, please, please leave a review, and um, I think that's all for my promotion. 
All right, YouTube, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like this video, and let me know your thoughts. I will catch you guys later. Happy New Year.